Welcome back YouTube Pipe Smokers, Munchop Piper here. Well today's video is entitled An Alternative Way of Cooling Your Pipe. Alright, well we've all been there. Uh, if you're a new pipe smoker and haven't experienced it yet, or uh, if you're an intermediate or a um, master pipe smoker, you know what I'm talking about. Your pipe overheats, or when it gets really really hot to where you have to set it aside well what I do what I try to do to alleviate that problem to where it overheats to the point where I have to set it aside uh, I would rather smoke my pipe and not set it aside for five ten minutes and then pick it up again relight it and continue smoking I would rather smoke my pipe continually uh, throughout the smoke, but there's some times when it just gets too hot. Uh, so I got to thinking and I got to experimenting, how can I prevent my pipe from overheating because I am a fast drawer. I try to draw slower, especially when I know that my pipe's getting hot. So. Uh, that's the key is to have a slow cadence while you're smoking your pipe now uh, some people such as myself can't help myself because I like the flavor so much that I, I draw a little bit fast and a little bit harder than normal uh, than a normal pipe smoker so what I do is if you're in that category if you're like me and you you draw fast and you, you know, you seem to, uh, your cadence is, is faster than it should be. And you just cannot, absolutely cannot uh, slow yourself down because you like the flavor so much. Here's a trick that I found that helps me. Now this may not help you at all. Uh, I'm not saying that, you know, this is a cure-all and that if you do this, you'll never get another hot pipe again. Uh, all I'm saying is this is uh, this is a trick that helps me throughout my smoke to where I am uh, not forced to put the pipe down. Uh, now, some of you senior pipe smokers may already employ this this technique, um, so just you know bear with me. Uh, I'm, I'm mainly talking to those individuals that have this problem where they their cadence is too fast or constantly having to put their pipe down because it's getting too hot so here's what here's the uh, here's the technique that I employ so I'm smoking my pipe it's out now but I draw it you know I draw it doing fine smoke coming out I really enjoy the flavor so every two or three draws I take the pipe out of my mouth and I hold it like this usually I hold my thumb up but I sort of make a fist around it now what does that do you're thinking to yourself mutton chop your your hand is hot how's that gonna cool your pipe ah your hand can compared to the heat in the pipe is a lot cooler plus your body holds all the heat in your core right here as it sends blood out to your extremities the blood cools so any chance that your body has to absorb any kind of heat from your extremities it'll take it so as you're smoking and you wrap your hand around the pipe you're transferring that heat into your hand your blood is coursing through your hand and back through to your arm back to your core so you're giving it a steady supply of not not cold blood but cooler blood than what's in your core and it's and it's sucking up that heat so I, I draw in a couple of times, 
bring it out, hold it like that. So let me show you how, how a normal pipe smoking routine would be for me. Gives you a chance to get the flavor, but you're also transferring that heat to, into your hand. And I'll put it back in. Talking, doing whatever. Back in again. So by doing this little technique, I'm able to, depending on the tobacco that I'm smoking, I'm able to keep my pipe cooler than it would be if I just took it out like this and held it. Compared to the heat of the pipe, your hand is a lot cooler. So it will cool that pipe down. It will cool the outside of that pipe down, which will transfer the coolness throughout the pipe that way you're not you're not having to go you know ah man that's hot and then have to put it down and wait five ten minutes for it to cool down throughout the smoke I'm holding I'm, I'm absorbing that heat to where I don't have to constantly put it down on the table and wait for it to cool down now don't do this technique if it is searing hot, if you take it out of your mouth and you do this and you're like, ooh, don't cup it because it'll burn your hand. Just feel the pipe and it feels, if it feels hot, but not burning hot, uh, you know, even warm, and you want to employ this technique, that's fine. But please don't, don't pull the pipe out of your mouth and cup it while it's searing hot because it will burn you. And I'm, you know, telling you right now, during this video, do not do that. Just, if it's hot to the touch, and you can stand cupping it like that, which I can pretty much regulate that, then that's how I do it. That's how I uh, keep my pipe a little bit cooler. That way I can get through a smoke without having to put it down every five minutes because I've overheated the pipe. All right, well, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you like my new technique or my old technique for me. Uh, I hope you learned something. And until my next video, I want to wish you and your family happy piping.